What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. I'm not going to waste very much of your time, but be ready. Food, water filtration, and heirloom seeds are all available here, and these guys give you a good deal. That's all I'm going to say. Links are in the description. You see what I mean? Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It is a... The 10th, 10th of August, right? 2019, Jeffrey Epstein, 66 years old, at 6, 3, 9, 9 a.m., killed himself. Those are the elites shouting to the other elites. Those are the American elites shouting to the European elites. It's done. Distraction is in place. Front page of every news channel Website, YouTube video will be Jeffrey Epstein. Carry on Operation 9th of Av. And they will. They will. They cannot resist doing this. It's already begun. That's what Epstein is. On a side note, let me answer these couple of things real quick. I happen to check the comments in the video I put up this morning. Now... Nothing on my end has changed. I'm still making videos the same way I did yesterday, the day before, etc., etc. I'm getting these new com. Richie, your volume is terribly low. Like 16 to 20 people will comment that. Which is strange because the video is already up. So commenting on the volume doesn't really help. But the thing is, is I'm listening to it. I listen to it on my laptop, I listen to it on my iPhone, and I listen to it on outside on a Bluetooth speaker. I can hear it all. Believe it or not, YouTube, troll armies, Google, and AI are censoring certain channels. When I went to upload that video this morning, at the top of my YouTube channel, it said, we apologize, but we're having a difficult time keeping track of views. It'll be fixed soon. Well, that doesn't even make any sense, but whatever. Long story short, if you can't hear my videos, nothing on my end has changed. But believe it or not, if a channel that you follow suddenly makes videos that you can't hear, what are you going to do? You're going to unsubscribe, you're going to thumbs down, you're going to get mad. That's what they do. I'll double check my audio next time, but I'm listening to it all. I can hear all of my videos on all of my devices. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, 20,000 people can. Oh, my God, are people ignorant. I'm in a, a predominantly Dominican neighborhood, and these people drive like there's nobody else on the planet. It's amazing to me. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So back to the 9th of Av. Like I showed in the video this morning, today into tomorrow is considered the 9th of Av. It's their 9-11. They are without a doubt going to pull off an event. There's no way they're not. There's no way. They can't resist. And I don't think they even care if we know. Because a lot of us know a lot of stuff and there's more people that don't. Do you see what I mean? They won the majority. The majority of the sheep are good to go. They don't want to know. The majority of the sheep are the kind of people that will see you getting your ass beat by a couple of muggers and keep walking by because I don't want to get involved. Do you know what I'm saying? The kind of people, the kind of sheep that are populating this planet with us are the kind of people that if 10 people in the room say, Jesus isn't real. They'll go along with it because they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to be different. They want to be accepted. Fuck that. I'm not that dude. I don't care. I just drove by the local police department in my town. First of all, my truck, what I drive, it's big. And they look at it and they're like, oh boy. Second of all, they know exactly who I am. And they hate that. But you know what? What they think about me does not matter to me whatsoever at all. Sadly, we live in a world where it's completely and totally, everything is materialism, everything else is be like the Kardashians, the Hiltons, sex tapes, blah, blah, blah. 
we have lost, we have given away, we have given it away. It's like a drug addict saying, I lost everything. You didn't lose everything, you gave it all away. We didn't lose all of our freedoms. We didn't lose the right to carry. We didn't lose the freedom of speech. We're giving it away because not enough people are doing shit about it. We're gonna get taken off the internet. So I get so much shit every time I do this, but I did a t-shirt, cup, blah, blah, blah campaign. For 10 bucks, you can at least get a sticker that says, we do not consent on it. And when people see that, they'll ask you because very, 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 very soon, we're not gonna have the internet anymore. They're already doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? If they're not unsubscribing people from my channel, they're messing with the views. 146 thumbs up, one view. Well, that makes sense. You know what I mean? YouTube is not a new app with that. it's working out bugs. YouTube is an app that is constantly, constantly, constantly changing and changing and changing so that people like me and everyone else like me can't get their message out whatsoever at all. You know, if you make a video saying, I know where Satan is, and you're some channel with, you know, 340,000 subscribers, you get unlimited views. Think about that. If the message is legit, and the person delivering the message is for real, they're not going to crack 50,000. It just isn't going to happen. We're not getting views anymore. They took it away. But people still don't see that for what it is. Censorship? Messing with the volume on your end? I don't know how they do that, but I'm sure they can. Technology is an amazing, amazing God. You know what I mean? At any rate, be prepared. Be ready. Hit your knees. No one needs to know. Even those people that think they're too smart. God's not real. Oh, come on, man. God. Somebody created all this? No, no. It's all just here. It's all just here. The Big Bang, Richie. Nothing exploded and turned into everything. Well, that's ridiculous, but this is even more ridiculous. The law, the law, not theory, the law of thermodynamics makes evolution impossible. Impossible. Darwin was his own big, visit, biggest critic. But that didn't stop them from carving Darwin's name into the side of MIT in Boston, did it? It's all smoke and mirrors. Scientists, whether they're good guys or not, are still following, they're still following all the principles, traditions, and rituals that used to be called black magic. And it still is. Richie from Boston. I'm out whether they're good guys or not, are still following, they're still following all the principles, traditions, and rituals that used to be called black magic, and it still is. Richie from Boston. I'm out.